Welcome, welcome to the Tribe G podcast, episode number two, season uh, four. Uh, depending where you're watching from, unfortunately, Ian is with us. <laughs> and uh, fortunately, if you are watching from Muntungamo, Ian is also here. <laughs> but uh, yes, we are back. And uh, before we go too far, uh, shout out, a special shout out to Damzi for the last uh, episode. Go. She mm-hmm. held it down and she did, did quite a dope, dope, dope job. Asante. Yes. And with that said, uh, Ian. Over to you. <laughs> what happened during the break? Eh? You first it was of your Kenyan chana you feel like <laughs> as people from Mutunga are not equal. Uh, yeah, uh, anyway, what up, what up? <laughs> Welcome to the Tribe UG podcast. Um if you're watching from Mutunga unfortunately I'm here with Felix again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi guys. Uh welcome back cuz uh, I was here last week. Um welcome back. Um <laughs> I can see you guys have all, eh? You guys think you're cool. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, happy to be back. Good to be here again with all of you. The Count Markula in the building. Hello, guys. New season. We're back. Damzi was there. She sent us to the wrong place last time. But this time, Oops. I followed her. From the moment she left the house, uh, the stalker vibes, I had to make sure we're going to the right place for the right time. Me, me, I had to follow her. So, you know, <laughs> producer, what is he going to produce if I'm not there? <laughs> so I followed you. Man, we're back with everyone. The team is here. We're happy to see you guys and uh, ready to take you for another season. We're all here to make some noise and say some sense things along the way but uh we've not just been chilling because you know the tribe hasn't yet given us vacation money but uh we still managed to do some good things we did um meets and beats we're back for the year as well a few additions in the bag already thank you to everyone that comes through damzi you you for you what did you do a lot of wonders <laughs> You know, someone asks you, how do you do? I do wonders. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah. Wonder so, woman. Yeah, right. I don't know. I was <laughs> wondering who would say it first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if it was you, I would just smack okay, you. Okay, eh? okay. Anyway, yeah. So, <laughs> while we were on break, for those who have not yet seen it, um, the, again, video, with Mutono's video, I just happen to be a bystander, <laughs> is out on YouTube. Go and watch, repeat, watch, repeat, watch, repeat, share with all your friends and relatives. I think it's a really, really good video. Shout out to the Tribe UG for producing and yeah, doing, adding that salt salt in the video. That yeah, was, That was a fun project for R- us. Writing the song didn't save me. I wrote that song and I still lost the woman. <laughs> I've suffered in life. They couldn't even give me any in wins. In case you're wondering what Mark is talking about, <laughs> but you just go and watch the video. You guys, we did not know that Mark might possibly <laughs> have a future in acting. Yep. Might possibly just like very cut off. Oh, it's all that primary see. school MDD. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> Felix, we got a chance to play 50-50. A oh Ugandan yeah. game. Oh yeah. And Ian was not invited, but the rest of us were there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have not come back with good hearts. You understand? <laughs> all of this. Um, negativity. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah, so. I'm your showing person. Okay, you do the showing. Yeah, so uh, the 50-50 board game is out. It's a project that I happened to be a part of. Um, it's a board game. It's a Ugandan board game. It's almost like a marriage between Monopoly and Otio. Yep. Um, it's such a fun game. Over 2,500 Ugandan words to describe. So it's the kind of game you can play with younger audiences, old audiences, your parents, stuff like that. So it's such, such, such a good investment. Um, only 120,000 shillings. Only! We will mm. share the link and the number you can call if you want to get the game um, and understand how it's played. But yes, please. If, you, if you buy it through the tribe, it's 150. <laughs> 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 That's not how this game is. was saying that it's a good game, and Ian was like, Yep. Yeah, Ian, yeah, yeah, when did you play this game? No, because I know about the concept. I've not played the game. You watched the videos. Eh? <laughs> Ramsey <laughs> had um, told me about the concept, how the game works. <laughs> so I know how the game. I've not played <laughs> it. Because they were not invited. Because I was not so invited. Mean. Look at you making your friend explain. <laughs> I'm, surprised, I'm surprised you are smart. You understood the concept. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, <laughs> it seems like the best way to get out of this is to ask you guys a little bit of a question. You know, normally we tend to start with our song of the week and all those things. But I mean, it's a brand new season. Episode two, we're back. So episode one for some of us who Damzi brought along this time. Yeah. But um, guys, I want to ask. Like, yeah, I feel like start with Felix because he has been doing bad manners uh-huh. towards Ian. 
Uh, no, please no. give us some some top three songs of 2023. Oh. So, you were worried. It's okay. Simple questions. Songs that uh, I like, right? Yeah, yeah, songs that you like. 2023. You know, <laughs> I was going to ask the same question. I asked her son. What if the song came out uh-uh. two years ago and the video came out? Uh-uh. Last uh-uh. Year. 2023 songs. Focus. Uh-uh. Okay. Uh, weekending. Felicity on the Boda Boda EP. Come on. Okay. Uh, we also did a press play for that. Um... <laughs> Watch on Swaza. Uh huh. Joran Sain. Uh, who let me nice. see who is, who is the third person? Who is the third person? Like you tell us. Top songs from last year. Mm, the songs he, he, he did. He did not have three. He did not have three. Let him give us two. Um, the Nothing remix. Ooh. Yeah, that was a good Elijah one. Stucker. That was a really good one. Call him one Shout out to Code yeah. for that verse. That Cord. was a really good one. Mm. And then the Dila, Dila. Anyway, Ian. <laughs> My top three songs from last year. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Ah, yeah. As you didn't have notes. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> no, I, I want this to be very scientific. I don't want I don't want to just gamble like Felix was like, mm, <laughs> let me see, let me see. That's the problem of drinking before you come to the podcast. Wow. <laughs> so my top song from last year is um, Nava Gray and Kenneth Mugabe. <laughs> but we all knew oh. that. You yeah. all talked about yeah. that. Yes, but me, there's proof. I'll share a screenshot. <laughs> It was actually my top song on Spotify for last year. <laughs> so you, you can see I support. <laughs> um, this song, y- you guys may argue about it. It's my number two. Um, no, no, no. We're not arguing it. about Navio your choices. and Viri, the storyteller. Uh-huh. Forever. That's my best song mm. of forever. It should always <laughs> be a top song for forever. me. And um, so whenever the next time we ask, we say, "What's your best song?" Minus the one of forever. <laughs> yes. All right. My got number it, three got it, got is it. another great song as well. Ah. Just get me that another great interview, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's called La Veno. Uh huh. That's my number three. Those are my top three songs from last year. Interesting. So we share the same number one. Okay. Yeah. Duo was like, yeah. Because, you know, me, I'm a lovey-dovey person, okay? Yeah. And I mean... <laughs> God damn. Ah, I'm surprised you tried to say it in a straight face. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I know I laughed, but I'm not kidding. So, yeah, that was such such a... That was a 2023 song for me. Yep. Ndiwo by Elijah Kitaka. Again, you see the theme, love. Whoa, whoa. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and I think I agree with uh, Felix. The remix of Nothing, mm. I think that, that was big. And then an honorary mention for Alien Skin. Because let's, you get it. Was it. A mm. Let's have yeah. an honorary, because that was a... What yeah. 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 Well, no, we'll, we'll talk about it yeah, in yeah, artists yeah, yeah, as yeah, well, because yeah. I might ask you artists as well. So Felix, start thinking now. But as I say yeah. my songs... <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I've, I realized we did like... You know, we did top ten lists for songs and things like that. So I don't have to say top on that. I'm going to say me Double as Mark, page. what I rinsed. Mm-hmm. Mm. I rinsed Let Me Know by Mike Mungo. Okay. That Wish. What a, what a song. What a song. That was very, very dope for me. Um, on Azawi's project, Elevated. Definitely. Because yeah, there are very many songs I like that, but Elevated, yeah. So Elevated yeah. with Mike K, Elijah again. It's such good vibes. <laughs> That's such good vibes. And if I have to pick one. Yes, you do. Last one. Uh-huh. I'm trying to see who do I give it to. Okay. I'll give it to All Over Me by Papi Chulo, the artist formerly known as No Lee. Cohen for Mark. <laughs> right. Blasphemy. <laughs> Well, I'm not going the next time you see him fight, but anyway. <laughs> and Ranti, those ones are in the other lists. Uh, <laughs> but then, like she said, I also have that commission. Go a singer by the myth because, you know. You wrote it. <laughs> 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 so I rinsed it. <laughs> I mean, is, is it this corruption? Right? You give yourself, you give you yourself the job it. and pay yourself. <laughs> How are you different from... But I mean, hey. <laughs> Yeah, do you first tell us the artist of the year for you? Artist of the year for me, Kenneth Mugabe. That doesn't change. That will... That is the same for Last thing. year, he was just on fire. Artist of the year mm. for me will be Kenneth. Number two, again, hey. call me biased or whatever. Number two is Navio. Those are my two artists from last year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Felix. Ah, first do Damzi. 
first do, first never do. wants to be the be the first so for me um i think joshua baraka what a year owned 2023 mm. yeah joshua baraka owned 2023 and i'm very proud of everything he has done and definitely a really really huge supporter of his work um if we're talking 2023 as a year again alien skin all right because we need to look at all different types of audiences i think it was his year Party. I don't know that it's going to happen again, but Party. it was his year. So, <laughs> congratulations. I, I think I have the same list as you, Damzin. Ah, ah, guys, Joshua Baraka okay. and uh, <laughs> Alien Skin. <laughs> 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 Alien Skin, okay. yeah. We had the same 20. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is not confusing. Um, Felix used to copy homework and copy the name as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, um, I like that my Kenneth has been covered. The Joshua and the yeah, and the. He's extra explain. Yeah, that's uh, how we go and collect worry. very many full scabs to write one <laughs> one, one, one couple stuff. We have many words. It's okay, it's okay. No, aside from those that you've mentioned, I really like. I feel like someone who definitely has to be mentioned as well for his epic year is Elijah. Yes. Because yes. Elijah Chaka had yes. Yes. quite the year, and, and he's a fine, fine man. So. <laughs> Terms yeah. and conditions apply. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, if you if you watch this Elijah, well done. Okay? Well done and keep it up. You're about and to him do and call that number to order for the game. <laughs> to order for the game and more. And I love your so, short shorts. Uh, that was my next question. Like, he inspired you and wear the short shorts or it's the other way around. I feel like <laughs> 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 First of all, you don't pay me enough to afford trousers. <laughs> then you might as well wear shorts, like yeah. shorter shorts. It's less material. <laughs> no, you, 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 are, you are saving, so it's not buying shorts, you are saving money. If you are paying me well, I'd not be saving on shorts. But you guys, yeah. before you quarrel about shorts, so however short they are, um, I want us to first pretend to be serious humans. <laughs> as we Have you ever seen Felix in shorts? Why are you misbranding <laughs> us? Wait, can I give us as, a shout out? Anyone ever yes, seen Felix in shorts? I would like to give a shout out on artists to Akine. I think Ak- Akine. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think Akine, she did the damn thing in 2023. I feel like I've said it, I'll say this again. I think she's a queen of features, and once you have her featured on any of your project, it is going to do well. Yep. So, well done. Uh, yay, yay. For me, mm. since we are doing honorary guys, right? Okay. Every artist who has come from its and beats. You are That's you're the real you, are my, you are my artist That's of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Fathers who say I love all my children. Hey, every artist who has okay. uh, come through on the pod last yeah, year uh, yeah. for an interview, please. And yeah, you guys did it. You guys did it. Yeah. And every artist who was in the again video. Uh, <laughs> all of you. <laughs> yeah, you guys are the real deal. <laughs> you're, very, you're very useless. Back to some of the things that happened when we were away. There was some good music. You know, we spent the year talking about some dope albums that came out. I mean, we all really liked uh, Baru and Kabu earlier in the year. We talked about Elijah. We talked. There's so much music that came out in the first half of the year and in the second half as well, because even when we were on break, there was some good music that was released. And one of the people that released a project was Azawi. Yes. Sankofa, the Sankofa. album. Uh, guys, what do we think? I am made from Africa. Hey. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like um, with Azawi, mm. Swang's Avenue is doing everything right. Mm. And Azawi as an artist makes it so easy to do everything right <laughs> because she's... Correct. Yes, she just gets everything right. Mm. And with this project, you know, as much as um, we've argued about like artists finding their sound, finding their place in the industry, and the Undeniably, Azawi has found her sound and her place in the industry. Because you listen to, to one album and it has so much replay value and every song just flows into the next song and it's just the intro with the poetry <laughs> and then she takes you into the song. You see, it could have been a standalone project and not needed to have, uh, not needed to have um, any of the features, but she brings in cautions, she brings in... Um, Mike Ihura, Mike Ihura, Elijah, Elijah. More as, than once. as for Elijah, the two songs. The song with Elijah, I feel like um, the Elijah I had on this song was the Elijah 
had wanted to hear on his album. <laughs> In a way, wait, hold on. Mm-hmm. Wait. Uh-huh. <laughs> you see, Elijah is the. <coughs> He's positioning himself to be the artist that's a bit more sensual and mm. he's at liberty with his oh. language. Uh-huh. And I felt <laughs> like on this track, he language. did not hold back. Uh-huh. He brought it. He brought it, which I felt like, uh-huh. Like, if, if, if there was some reservation of how good you really sound if you chose this path, this is proof that you're the right track. Mm. So I feel like if he's chosen to be that artist that's... Um, romantic and a bit edgy and risky with the lyrics this song proved that yo you are that guy it's mm. not it's not a, it's not something you're trying to create it's something you've actually done and express more freedom like you know what guys yeah. i have genuinely missed ian because when is the last time you had someone you know you sensual sprinkle all these lovely lovely words for me well done and yeah i'm so it's so good to see you yeah. again. If, if, if I'd gone on vacation, if they paid me enough, I'd you'd have even been better. Yeah. Okay, this <laughs> is enough. That might have been much. Um, mm. I f- I really liked Azawi's project. Uh, I don't think Azawi can get it wrong. I think when it comes to music business, and first of all, obviously Swangs <laughs> understands music business, but Azawi has understood her sound, understood what works, and that's that's what she's delivering. But I also like that she's taking. Some risks, yeah, and you really see that she's really trying to take some risks with the music. So, for me, I thought that was such a stellar project. I would say the same. I'll start from the risks. Um, you know, like many times after our first album, especially such a successful one, guys are always you. You worry sometimes about that second one. Is that ka, I don't know that ka unwritten rule that, it, that where some people think there's a curse of the second album. But for me, Azawi really like she took different directions here and there and still made them so her like there was no sup- like this is her and it was so 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 good so many great musical choices so many great collaborations like it was just very very dope uh project actually if i just want to to become difficult <laughs> i'd say the only thing only one thing like this that i might have struggled with and that's why i don't start the project from there is the intro <laughs> the, the 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 poetry the thing? The intro is not only that one, but I start from um, you know, Africa. Oh, from there, I am sorted up to the end. It was very very, no, but I, it's a very great. It's no, a I great. I feel like it's the, a intro, great project. the intro makes you curious. Okay, You're like huh, <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> okay, okay, let's see where this leads. And boom, you open the present, and it's indeed a present. You sir. Oh, man. You guys have said everything. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even used all the English. <laughs> you guys have said everything. Please be In the next one, we are starting with Felix, just uh, to be sure. Please be but uh, I would say, uh, for me, as we and the team, it's the consistency for me. Uh, 2021, 2022, 2023, you guys have given us a body of work to listen to, and yes. uh, which I think... Uh, kind of shows us who Azawi is the, because the more I believe the more you listen to a body of work from an artist you get to know who the artist is as a yeah. person yeah. Uh, their thoughts and what they are trying to do and 2022 2023 those bodies of work speak to their to the reach for the African market they are trying to yeah. reach they are trying yeah, to target yeah, 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 yeah. and I think they are doing it uh, properly because by the time you have a number one song in Fiji <laughs> on, on Apple Music, that means wow. you're doing something right. And uh, with those few words being said, uh, <laughs> Jayla, <laughs> Jayla, the manager of Azawi, if you're watching, eh, we would love to sit down and talk with you. And no, you tell us, uh, Abasa, tap your co worker. <laughs> Tell them, tell her it's a good platform and uh, we say some small things when Ian is not around. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> yeah, next project. <laughs> uh, but, but actually, you've said. Consistency, and I've remembered Azawi has a new song, Masavu. Yeah. And it's still fire. So, like, this is just to show, and that's 2024. So, clearly, it's correct. Levels. And of course, there's more music that y'all gave us when we were away. Martha Smalls came back with the first project in a long time. She gave us Bloom. Mm. And this time, as I said, we shall start with Felix. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Because I wrote a review for that one. Yeah, you wrote yeah. a review for your ass as a dear. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> okay, here's, a, here's the challenge or here's the issue, right? Uh, apart from Ian and maybe Damzi, normally we tend to pass by Talent Africa every Friday. 
and oh. uh, they tend to it's play us. You guys don't invite me. Don't uh, include uh, me in the party. Uh, uh, you, it's intentional. <laughs> We can't take you to the pub to public. Miss around and wrap. Eh? Mm. Anyway, continue. <laughs> <laughs> Even you? No, oh oh you. my god. <laughs> god damn. Even by you. By the way, it's, it's peer pressure. Ah. <laughs> but Felix, you can continue. Yeah. So, in those vids, there are some songs they have played us. Songs that are really really dope, but I uh, never made it to this project. Oh. And uh, of course I I asked and then they explained to me and I understood it. So, with that being said, uh the one of the things that I'm proud to see Martha Smalls do is production because uh, a bunch of songs on the, a bunch of songs on that EP were produced by her. So, that's something that to me was uh, amazing, something that was also a bit shocking because in most cases this pr- the production side of the business is normally male dominated. So, when you have a Martha Smalls, I think also thinking it makes beats, right? Uh, Akini. Uh, Akini. Akini. Yeah, yeah. Akini so, producer. now those are two and also Ole Branch who left the industry, <laughs> but uh, that's a space I would love to see more women in uh, sort of like dominate and then sort of like practice more. Now, on the s- singing singing part, of course it's Martha Smalls. She for me, she did it, especially that Can We song, Can We Make <laughs> Love Like We Did. Said, Let me kill them eh? with Can We Make Love Like We Did back in the day. Like, I sent to my ex cop Singes, I'd be like, hey, <laughs> can we? <laughs> Sometimes they blue tick me, I move on. <laughs> <laughs> what Felix is saying is a loser. <laughs> but for me, but for me, but for me, uh, it's a solid uh, 7 out of 10. And uh, that comment came from Ian because he's married. And you know, married guys, they don't have to try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, yeah, Mark. I don't know if, <laughs> if I should. I, I don't let Ian speak next because he may just yeah. Yeah, that's violate. true. That's true. So yes. in fact, I'm doing this enemy with Stevie and I just jump mm-hmm. and, and be the next. Uh, just very happy to have Martha back. You know, there's just you know, those people we know they've been around the industry for a while and then we don't. You know, we we th- we start saying, ah, if only they could give us one more. Martha gave it. You know, like other people may stop and we just wish, but like no, Martha gave it, and that was so dope. That opening, can we? And not just it being the first song, but even how the song starts. <laughs> it's kill them with positive vibes. It's really telling you I'm about killing with positive vibes. So like for me, that's like great start. Um, a number of the so it's Martha. Like we, you know, it's one of those. You know, you know what you're going to get. So yeah, ac- actually. Something that was surprising for me. Remember when we reviewed um, Time that she released in 2023? A lot of us felt, ah, this song would go so well on a project as opposed to just as a single. So I was just surprised that it wasn't there. I don't know why I didn't ask. And like Felix was there, rubbing all the shoulders with all the right people. I mean, but me, Bambi, they didn't tell me why. But I, I, I think... Because you refused to write for them, I was I hoping think. to see it there. <laughs> yeah. Um... For me, I'm glad to see Martha producing and, you know, putting out more music. I find her voice very unique. And for her to come back and bring back that voice as strongly as she did, the music was really good. Um, Like I said, as a lovey-dovey person, (laughs) it spoke to my heart, spoke to my soul. But the, the most important thing for me is I really love her voice. It's such a unique sound and I would love to hear so much more of it. Yeah. Yeah. So I agree with whatever you guys have said. One of these days, I'm going to disagree because it's going to be agree with whatever <laughs> I want to say. Uh, no, we needed Martha to come back and remind the industry of what she's always been capable of. And um, yeah, sometimes you get busy. Sometimes life does whatever it does. But sometimes you need to take your time to evolve as a person. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah but when she comes back with this project, it's um, it, it it's it's nice to. To hear, <laughs> and of course, for people like Felix, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you yeah, need yeah. to stop DMing your exes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, revision is important. <laughs> 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 That's what we're calling it. <laughs> revision is <laughs> important, <laughs> but that project only had Maurice Kiri as the featured person, right? Maurice is a, no, there's Natty. Nathan. Yeah, Nathan, 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 yeah. 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 So yeah. it was also refreshing to, to listen to a project that doesn't have to <laughs> 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 Yeah, I did. I'm going to say it's better useless. <laughs> uh, refresh the people you DM, not your exes all the time. Yeah. 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 When they give us music to DM new people. <laughs> you guys want your own show. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yes, like, why you go and fight your battles? <laughs> uh, another project, a bit more recent. And longer than all the others combined. Uh, (laughs) 
Bagozo, Apos. Guys, let's go. Nzenganze. Nzenganze. What be honest, I have listen to that project Why? because on chao sonda manyi. Like I have to first clear my schedule for two hours straight <laughs> and then jump into it but then also the energy to get through those two those 42 songs. But I know there are good songs on there because there are some I've listened to in passing. Yeah. And also on radio because it seems radio decided to choose what what is a single for them and what makes sense on yeah. for radio yeah, airplay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, Though I can't give a comprehensive <laughs> review of the project. Can you yeah. go last for yeah. this particular yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the man has been checking his notes. <laughs> I see like two pages. Uh, <laughs> there are four, there are four pages. <laughs> I mean four. You should, have, you should have written a review <laughs> and put it on the site. Really? One There's page for ten songs. Damzi. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so Bagonza, I honestly have not had the time either to listen to all 40 songs like Felix I've listened to the ones that have made it to like the radio and stuff like that I will you know distribute 30 minutes in, over the next week to break it up and listen to it but <laughs> that's yeah. not enough oh distribute 30, 30, yeah 30, 30. so like 30 30, 30 minutes uh, yeah. then I try and so four times because yeah, fit, two fit whole hours. The, the, the whole the whole thing but I'm interested I'm really okay. really intrigued because I feel like um there's the f- the features on there yeah. if i i think are interesting um and i think apas is a good artist overall in yeah. my opinion mm. i've always been a fan of his earlier music so i'm looking forward to being pleasantly surprised hopefully yeah uh before ian's two pages i guess we'll start <laughs> with my small small i have listened we had enough multiple times like you just <laughs> the whole 40 you put it in the office and then it plays then you oh, you listen along the way so i'm a person who likes to listen to an also album also your boss needs to give you more work but continue <laughs> continue mm-hmm. I, i i like to listen to an album from beginning to end properly and sit and enjoy but of course as we've all agreed it's very difficult with two hours and 42 yeah. songs but i still tried multiple times and um one of the things is One of the things is um there are some there's there's a number of good songs on there. One of the problems is as you go and go so a lot of them start to sound the same. Mm. And then you start to forget what you're what listening the other to. Ones yeah. Were. Yeah. Okay. And then in terms of the interesting features there's C Liko Banji Akine. But now here's the thing. There's three songs with C, three songs with Liko Banji one with a key name there's three songs with i've forgotten who the third who the other one is but uh, yeah basically there's that so it again if they're going down the same then it's the features they're also the same then but that said there's so many good songs ronaldo is of course i think it's the most streamed so far i've been seeing a lot of it but something so funny is this morning i was listening to a new song uh and uh, Spotify decided to play one of the songs from Apus's project next and I listened to it and it's so dope but I'm like I feel like I've never had this song <laughs> when I reached here I checked the album and I'm like it's track 18 I'm like oh I zo- like you get like <laughs> it's so funny and I'm like this is such a dope song so I, while we were here earlier I played it like three, four times and I'm like it's really such a dope song so but I guess it gets lost in the mass so you've listened but you haven't listened <laughs> you get it. like but, no, but like when you take them ah, when right. you take them apart uh, they're really really nice i just think it's the, the whole listening to them together thing that's difficult but like when you take them apart they're really so quite uh, so here's my thinking so listen about to one song for 40 days this is my <laughs> this is my thing about this project right he last released an album in uh, 2018 then he releases in 2024 that's like a, a good space of n- like no ep no nothing no i think so in that nice in that in that uh, space he's working on songs songs that he believes that uh, are brilliant songs and the world deserves to listen and uh, as a result he's like not let me give you all of them let me give you all of them cuz cuz uh, judging that he took four years to release that means it's going to take another longer time to give us another album so if I don't know if that's the thought process behind it but if it is then he he, he it was a good move because if you take another four years and we have 42 songs to get through <laughs> we are coward that's, that's not how we that's not how we operate yeah. generally yeah like, that's a problem in in we at a certain in point a someone will have moved on time, mm. we'll have moved on yeah so the idea is as he, 
between now and the next one, he's going to remove singles from that. So now from that album okay. and keep giving just you debate. videos. Give, what? Us ten, give us 10 every year. Yeah. You get what I mean? <laughs> In the four years, just give us 10 every year. We, fo- we focus on that and day like that. But anyway, I would really want to understand the thought, the, the, the reason behind but it. The yeah. are, they're actually quite nice. Mm. They're actually quite I, nice. Mm-hmm. I would expect that. Mm. Yes. So. so. Huh. Just <coughs> where do we start? Keep in uh, mind we have other things to talk about. Eh? You know, so. um, <laughs> Two thousand and eight. The man is even swinging. He's even feet. Two thousand and eight. The world changed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Especially in the entertainment world. Besides, was born. Sorry, my bad. Besides <laughs> Ti dropping his Paper Trail <laughs> album on my birthday. First of all, look at me. Clap for me. Dubs is late. Um, Marvel introduced um. <laughs> Iron Man 1, which was the first movie in the MCU. Uh-huh. And over the years, we saw several movies that would lead to Avengers 1, Age of Ultron, oh my God. Infinity War, Endgame. Where is yeah. this going? But after Endgame, uh-huh. the next movies that have come, we've been in kind of a superhero fatigue. Okay. So it's been, you get to a point where something that's good starts off very nice elevates, elevates, and gets to a point where it's just fatigue. <laughs> and that's my problem with this album. <laughs> because, you see, um, <laughs> when you remember, when you remember, when you look at Apus as an artist, mm-hmm. undoubtedly he's easily one of the best artists we have in the country. That mm-hmm. we cannot debate or contest it. Yes. But you see, I struggle to understand the motivation <laughs> behind a 42-track album for two hours. <laughs> like as the fans, what kind of pressure are you putting this man on? To be like, <laughs> he needs to prove himself on a 42-track album. No, hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> and yet he's. We know he's that artist that does not have to do that because no one ever doubts his credentials. Mm-hmm. But I struggle to find the motivation behind releasing two hours of an album, which like you've had, is almost hard to really focus in on the entire album for two hours because at some point you zone out. <laughs> yeah. You could easily have broken this down. We don't zone out of this speech. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, please be informed. You could easily have broken it down into a 12 or 14 track album. It would have been a classic. Because yeah, when you listen true. to the very good songs and to the features, you like see how this could have been did. compacted Oof. into something that could have been more consumable. But when you do <laughs> 42 tracks for two, hours. for two hours, you see, even it, it's a bit unfair to ask the APAS fans because now I don't know how to react. I don't know how to appreciate this body of work because it's too much. Like, <laughs> it, it's too much. I'm hit with so much fatigue where you get, to, you listen, like Mark was saying, you work, you play the album, you listen, you're like, oh, shit, what it's track is play. it? <laughs> 14, you're like, oh my God, like I've been <laughs> listening to this forever, which makes it hard for us to appreciate the work that went in, the talent, because yeah. at some point you feel like, is he just doing this because he can? Is he trying to prove a point? Because the apus that you are, I don't, I don't see why, like I don't see the motivation behind this. Probably, eventually, he will make us understand, like Felix was speculating, because you've released in four years, you're doing a 42-track album to cover the four years. <laughs> But still, it's hard to appreciate it because mm. the fatigue it's a bit hits to you digest, so yeah. early. It genuinely is a bit harder to digest. Yeah. So I feel like um, Apus as an artist. Okay, yeah, there's <laughs> more scrolling. Yeah, there's more scrolling. Yeah, there's yeah. more uh-huh. No, you see, I feel like Apus an, as an artist needs to, first of all, understand the kind of market that we are. We move on quickly. If you give us a 42-track album and guys are abusing DJs because they are complaining about it on Twitter, and some guys are all like, no, it's APAS, it's so good. How come when Chris Brown did it, you didn't complain? Guys, relax. <laughs> Chris Brown and APAS, are, you can't compare them. Not even when Chris Brown did it, we complained. We, also we didn't, didn't have the time. Yeah, you see, that's the thing. <laughs> <I see. laughs> yeah, so you cannot, you cannot justify it because somebody else has done it. Yeah. And when you look at the numbers, Chris Brown has what, like 60 million monthly listeners on Spotify alone, APAS has like 75K. Like it's not, it's not really, you cannot put them in the same conversation. Like let's be serious. If we're 
complaining about this album. You've you got off track. Let's yeah. get back. I feel. <laughs> <I see. laughs> get back. No, no now. <laughs> you enter that Twitter for <laughs> better. <laughs> get off Twitter. Get off no, Twitter. No, like, like like the fans. Let's also be objective when we're giving artists uh, feedback yeah. about things like this. Because you see, at the end of the day, I I'm an APAS fan. I want to listen and enjoy it, but. Come on, yeah, and has reviewed <laughs> APAS and he has also reviewed us who listen to it. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. The good thing is APAS said on Ronaldo, that one I listened to it, it's very al- early in the project. He uh-huh. said, even if you don't give him the Ballon d'Or, he will still kick it like Ronaldo. No, but you see, also, also, also <laughs> so again, Ballon d'Or you see, also again, <laughs> we, have, we, have to, we have to give APAS credit. He's a very, very brilliant artist. Yeah. You see, you're going to sit down and be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to listen to this album two hours and never listen to APAS again. You've given him two hours of <laughs> streaming. The numbers will eventually add up. Yeah. So <laughs> regardless. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, That's so true. there's also strategy to it. You listen to the 42 tracks and the numbers. his numbers will rack up. But, well, I've listened. I <laughs> like it, but I'm yet to break it. I, I want to make my own 12 track out of it that I feel like... This is me. Like yeah. a, a, a playlist out of the album. Yeah, but 42 tracks, maybe at some point, APAS will make us understand the motivation behind it. But it's not, I, I don't feel like, like I struggle to understand why why you'd give us two hours. So you guys are <laughs> willing to host APAS on the pod? Yes. Yeah. Producer? Yes. Mental yes. note. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally. Ian is done, so the next project should be <laughs> finally by Mike Mungu because <laughs> that's the next project on my list. Finally, Mike Mungu. Finally, it was uploaded on the streaming platform. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah, as, as people who attended the listening uh, <laughs> thing, it took forever to, to get it to, but finally. eventually it got there. It came onto the platforms, and yeah, it's a brilliant project. I like the cultural nuances to it, like the Tinder this, uh, meet mm. guy this. Like uh, it makes Fuck it, re- yeah, re- it makes it relatable. It makes it uh, exceptional. And uh, f- Mike Mung is a talented guy, yeah. And uh, I'm excited to see what he does next. Yeah, mm. Mike can sing, sing. Ooh, sing, you know, sing. it's like for me, he he gives me like old school proper R&B like mm. that when I listen to him I'm like oh yes this is because that's the music I and you know remember. when you meet him he's like excited to be Mike Mungu like he's excited <laughs> to see you yeah, you know there's somebody who gives you gas you know, yeah. Like, yeah there's somebody who's your friend like bro do you hate music you know? <laughs> <laughs> Like that's true. That's like true. He, has, so he has such FOMO for his own like, music. Yeah, like yeah. that's why he should be like. No, yeah. w- whose project was it where producer Hassan was like, these guys sound like they hate <laughs> music? <laughs> <laughs> I remember, but I won't say we have enough problems. Yeah. We don't have a statement this season. No, so, like, so Mike Mungu, I, I love that, like, when he sings, he sing, you feel, yeah? yeah. Hey, you know, that, that R&B thing. And I'm excited to see where he goes. Um, I mean, last week I was here with Afsan. She mentioned even just in terms of the music business and, you know, that's something he's really, really trying to push. So I think people need to listen to his music, like pay attention because it's very, very good music. Yeah. yeah. I really like the project. I <laughs> I reviewed the project. So <laughs> like Felix also, we had pre-homework, but um, I think it was really dope. And shout out to Mike for coming through to Meets and Beats and performing the project um, immediately after it had come out because I think it came out 20th October and he was with us on the Meets and Beats October edition. Mm. And uh, he's really talented. And like you said, he sang sings. And that's why for that project, I know I mentioned the song earlier in my Songs of the Year. You see, it starts and it has all these nice up-tempo songs, fun, dancey, dancey, singy, songy. And then you get to the final song and let me know he just strips it all down and now says, okay, let me sing for you people. Like, let me just give you that old school R&B yeah, type yeah. that Damzi talked about. Yeah. And I'm like, that felt so, 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 so amazing. So shout out to, to you because that's a dope project. And it's good to see the stages that, you know, he's, he's getting yeah, way he's more getting performances. Yeah, and it's, it's and really I like that he's nice. pushing. And a comment like that from Afsa last time, if Afsa is noticing someone's effort as an artist... That that's just that's speaks that's it speaks well done. <laughs> it speaks volumes. Yeah, so. that's a job well done. And <laughs> and something you guys said earlier about being excited about the music, being excited about the music. Um, you know, I always tell people like when I bump into an artist here and there, I'd be like, you know, if you move on from your music, 
then it's easy for us to move on. If you're not interested in pushing it anymore, it's easy for me to also forget and listen to the next guy who's pushing theirs. Mm. But someone like Mike who keeps, who is excited about his music, who keeps playing it, who's, who's interested in, you know, who's happy <laughs> when it plays and who... Right, Mike is such a happy guy. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I don't think exactly. I've ever seen him unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. He does not have the problems Felix has. <laughs> He's such a happy guy. Like it, and it's so contagious. It's contagious. Like you can't yeah. meet him and you make none. So happy. even you problems. want to be happy for him. Yes. <laughs> Again, make your own show and you find <laughs> yourselves. <laughs> yeah, and about finally, not about Felix. Go on. Um, well, for me, my, my, he gives me a different vibe from the old school vibe you guys get. Okay. He reminds me of Khalid. Khalid uh, mm. of Better mm. Saturday Night. Mm. Mm. And um, so me, I find Mike Mungu more of um, an artist of now. Like he's with the times. Yes. So I don't get the old school. No, the old school is in the so vocal. So for me, the, for, he's in not the vocal. The songs. So just like the vocal yeah. prowess yeah. itself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for is me, what is you see, yeah. you chose to concentrate on 42 songs and you missed <laughs> the vocal prowess of Mike Mungu. <laughs> the, the, song is 12 min- the project is 12 minutes. <laughs> 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 no, as as a project, I like it. It's um, very easy to listen to, and what's what's the most interesting bit is every track belongs to. I don't know if for those that do playlists, every track belongs oh, to yeah. a certain playlist mm. in your collection. And I think for me, what stands out the most is um, his music is artsy in a way. Now, like that song, um, "Be by Me." Be, be by me. Be yes. by me. I feel like if when the time comes for the video, Mike just hollered me. When the time comes <laughs> for the video, it needs a very artistic video. A video for smart people, not you, Felix. <laughs> a video for smart people. A very artistic video where if you're not smart, you don't get it. All. <laughs> then what's the <laughs> point? <laughs> No, because it's such There's a... There's too many dum-dums <laughs> you just want to over-over. <laughs> right, you, know, you know last time he promised to go in a video, so Mike Mungo, don't be like <laughs> this man's promises. They never come through. <laughs> yeah, so when the... I feel like when the time comes for that video, if if possible, I'd like the opportunity to... To pitch, eh? To pitch okay. my concept for it. Right. Yeah. All right. So you know you're in an interview. <laughs> I don't have to for you to... Okay, that time just... We're, we're almost done, guys. He's got two more projects in the bag. Uh, eh? Uh, what more? <laughs> 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 guys, there's something going on. But uh, the first one, uh, I think we should just run through them. The first one, Nsokwa, 21. Yeah, young kid <laughs> walking through his 21 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, I, I wrote a review of that thing. I um, you said that. And uh, yeah, pretty much, because when you listen to it, he's telling his story as a 21-year-old uh, relationship, sad breaks, friends, and uh, the squad you're chilling with. Oh, that entire that entire scene in his life. Like, mm. he captures it perfectly on this uh, project. And of course, his collaboration with Mike Mungo, which is a, a standout project yes. when you listen to the entire body of work. Uh, again, he's a young kid whom uh, I want to see where he goes with it. Uh, there, is, uh, there is a lot he has to still improve here and there, but those are things that can improve along the way as yeah. an artist, as, mm. uh, as someone who is who is really really in tune with growing as an artist i think for i mean um the our podcast and our platform has <laughs> evolved so much that when we actually cover a hip-hop hip-hop yeah. project it, it, it's it, very exciting. it's refreshing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and for me this project when i was listening to it i was like okay we still like we actually have guys that are still trying to rap rap mm. rap rap and rap well and mm. it was interesting, exciting project because um, as someone that tried to rap, <laughs> whenever, uh, Felix, <laughs> whenever I listen to somebody that raps and actually raps well, I appreciate quitting because I leave room <laughs> for those who can actually do it. <laughs> and he's, he's someone to really look out for. I'm excited for the what future. his journey is going to grow into. Yeah. yeah. Bamzi has a TBT. I haven't listened to the project. No, a TBT of, of Nsokwa himself. Yeah, so I haven't listened to the project, but I have met Nsokwa mm. and I've had him, I've, I've seen him perform. Um, knowing that he's 21 explains a number of things. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it's really, really good to see like him putting in the effort in his art. And I would love to see him perform again because... To see if that has grown. Yeah, to also see if that has grown because like... I think yeah. I would like I'd love to see that evolution, but I will definitely listen to the project as well. Uh, twenty one for me 
it's easy to listen to. Like Ian said, he's rap rapping. But one of my favorite things, and I feel like I haven't used that today because I usually say that when I'm listening to projects, the arrangement. Mm. The project is so well arranged that it makes it easy to listen to. So he has like the sad stuff in the beginning, the slow whatever, which builds up into his For Never with Mike Mongu, which is why I think that song is even more impactful because that's the third song. But like after too long, problem related things. And then he says, okay. For never. You were meant to be for never, so let's leave it at that. And then he gets out of that into the party now. Mm. The boys, the stuff Felix was saying. So like the way it's structured just makes it so Tell easy to, to to see the story mm-hmm. he's trying to, story. To, to, to tell. And that's, that's for me, that's dope. just one of the that's best really things dope. about it. Kudos, so man. keep it up, main. Let's see where you go from, from here. Felix is here whispering that you like 21 because you have 21 comp singers. Eh? For never? I didn't know that's where it was going. <laughs> and I'm so glad I, that's, that's where it, it went. Because you see, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> lastly, since we have been 21 and the struggles of being young, the last project, Joshua told us some growing pains. Felix, has, Felix <laughs> so has 21 problems. <laughs> and, and so many growing pains. Don't run like problems, don't run questions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, last project, Joshua Baraka, growing pains. I think for Joshua's project, the most standout thing for me is Axon. Like, we just don't give the man enough credit. We don't give him enough credit for the consistency. We don't give him enough credit for understanding Joshua Baraka. We don't give him enough credit for always outdoing himself on the next That's project. That's true. The next project, That's actually the next really project. true. Because you see, Joshua is going to kill it. Yes. Like, that's what we know. Yeah. You know, but the pairing of him and... That's th- I think that's where the magic is. Yep. I think that's where the magic is. And also, shout out to the team that's managing Josh. Because you guys know exactly what the hell you're doing. Yeah. You oh, know? Fe- Felix wants to name drop. And ah. sure it's his specialty. Okay, say, ra- hi to your friends. say hi to your friends. <laughs> 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 shout outs to everyone behind you. <laughs> <laughs> you're now shy to talk to your friends. <laughs> hey, wow. No, but Ian, I really want to echo that as well. Because Axon, you see we've listened to so much Axon music with so many of the young artists he's worked with, from Akine to Joshua mm. to Cohen to everyone. <laughs> but uh, it's how, like you said, how he makes everything different, everything special. Because this project, we've listened to so much Axon that a new project should not shock us with his production. Yep. And yet yeah. for me, to yeah. be honest, like the first time I listened, I was really impressed by the production, but maybe I wasn't so much into the songs. But the Growing Pains has grown on me. I listened to it a lot this week. And uh, I was like, man... It's so easy to go back to it because Axon just laid the foundation and then now I start getting into some of the other songs that maybe I might not have jumped on the first time. And I always like a project where, you know, something that I might not have liked early on then starts to become to become like, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, I really, really, really enjoyed that. And then of course we all talked about the year he had. This morning I was listening to a new song with Ice Prince and so like it's it's really good to see the constant work and the you know, the effort that's being put in by Joshua and his team, everyone from whoever is doing what, whatever you're doing, all of you are doing Contune. something. Contune. Contune. And, also, and also, shout out to Prince, that video. Oh, my Prince, God. the artist mm. and the videographer. Yeah. Mm. Which video? Because all of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all of them are Prince. Uh, <laughs> but that yes. Daniela video. Uh, yeah. It was, uh, again, for smart people, sorry. Uh, it was, ah, uh, <laughs> it was... Uh, and you know, there's a, I had a friend, um, oh, I have a friend, he's still my friend. <laughs> there's a time, yeah, didn't there's didn't a time I was chilling at his house and uh, Prince was there <laughs> doing his stuff and he's like, oh, this guy is a video producer. But we meet so many, this guy is a, that, this guy is yeah. this guy. <laughs> But to see what the guy <laughs> actually does, you're like, shit, I was in the presence of greatness. You could have pitched one of your my concepts. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're in the presence of greatness yeah. and you don't realize you're in the presence of greatness, mm. Does that, uh, does that make you a smart person or a <laughs> not so smart person? <laughs> but anyway, uh, shout out to Lob. Uh, I, 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 I like, the, episode I like the plan you guys orchestrated in terms of releasing the project, doing a release uh, event in Kenya, Kenya in Uganda, Kenya. like uh, and yeah. also the merchandise that came with it. Uh, for me, one thing of because the music is good, the team is good. One thing I've uh, I want to appreciate the team for doing is the scaling of the brand that is Joshua Baraka. Yeah. Yeah. They have done it in a smart way and and a smart way in the sense of 
they don't have a big big budget as the rest of compared to the rest of uh, African cont- acts were uh, uh, who are getting out for the first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they have been strategic yeah, with the resources absolutely. they have and the scaling has been on point and the to the extent that the impact is felt because for example that new song with uh, Ice Prince mm. is a featured act on it mm. so that goes to show you that now they really need him to access the market and the audience right. that he has yeah. Yeah. so yeah uh, kudos, uh, kudos on that and keep pushing no, just in case it wasn't clear, Joshua Barker is a bad man. Okay, <laughs> I know. Like we've shouted out everyone around here. Let's, let's let's please be be guided. He is very talented and he's doing the damn thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. and in doing it well. But of course, there are many other projects that came out and were away. And but others, <laughs> and others. And Guys, others. Keep your ear. The good thing is, you know, we do a couple of reviews. We do tweet about a lot of these. We do tweet about new music that's out. So, guys, pay attention. But I, I generally, I think 2023 was a really. Good it was a good. Year. It was a yeah, good was. music. It gave year. us Joshua, Elijah. This, it was this a new very Elijah. good music. Yeah, uh, and like for me, I'm excited uh, to see and Mike. a lot of new music coming out. And we talked about the fact that, you know, the last episode we talked about Ugandan sound and. We don't want to box in any of the Ugandan artists, and you clearly see that people are trying out all kinds of stuff mm. and just trying to give us good music. So kudos to everybody who's putting out music. Um, yeah, thank you, you for, for doing the damn thing. Yeah, and and um, the Ugandan sound. <laughs> I knew you not boxing it. artists uh-huh. has allowed artists to Create. discover their sound. Like you as like yes, yes. Yeah. yes, yes. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Because look at Joshua. Look at Azawi. <laughs> what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, very good. Mm. And on that note, I feel like well, I don't think we successfully pretended to be serious because he had maybe when he was giving that speech, that lecture. But um you didn't, I I'd wanted to print out and no, get no, that no, car. No. <laughs> what is it called? Again, on your own show. <laughs> <laughs> Producer. <laughs> Producer, I need, uh, <laughs> you need a, you know, a spin off. <laughs> As Damzi is working on Damzi yeah, after that, you find yours. You'll be with Luca alone watching that one. <laughs> <laughs> you will be like, yeah. <laughs> no, but like, guys, I want us to try a little bit of something. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want us to, to tell, to see how well we know each other. Did you just see Mark invoke his New York passport. Uh-uh. Bra, <laughs> bra, his Brussels, <laughs> his Brussels stamp. As long as it can get us, eh, it can benefit the rest of us. If it's not, stop it now. Let us focus. Cut Let us be out. guided. Let us see how well we know each other. Aside from Ian and Felix fight fighting, yeah. Let's tell some two truths and a lie. And let's see if we can tell why is what. Start I feel like Ian should start. Yeah. With Felix. I know, let's start with Mark because I want to know how this thing is going to play out. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. As you give a game, hey, you hey, give it. Tell us. Give <laughs> like okay. the lie part is going to be easy for you, but continue. Hey, <laughs> Jesus. No, I don't know what to. Mm-hmm. So, a Ugandan artist once went to Brussels and found a Kobus injury. With my good name tattooed on her back. But because he happens to share the same name, he went and thought, oh my God, I have a fan all the way here. What, what, what? But it so happens that Kobusin was like, who are you? And so <laughs> it, it, was, it was not a nice sort of a situation, but it was just a coincidence. So say to God that is Bambi. You just want to tell us that I'm story. Sorry, because that is one. I feel like you just want to tell us the that story. The second one, I did say it's a true one. You don't know which it is. Which okay, one. continue. Mm. Second one, I always pay for the myth, shows, CDs. I've nice. never had them for free. Absolute I always pay life. for them. Uh-huh. And lastly, because of my very good memory, I am 100% sure of the order in which I met each of you. True. That's true. That's true. That's definitely so, true. So, which is the lie? The lie is paying your, your, your tickets you for paying for your brother's share. thing. That's a lie. That's a lie. You go home and collect t-shirts. Today. You go home and collect. I don't collect. know. Yeah, I agree with him. I agree with him. That's oh. the lie. <laughs> because I know the, we, the we chief know the story. tattoo story. I know the, story. The, the, the story. Yeah. tattoo story. I don't know the artist, but if they asked him who are you, he yeah, must have know. been as fuck. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't say anything. 
Um, <laughs> I was going to drop a hook of one of his songs, but <laughs> <laughs> also tried, but, <laughs> anyway, but let me know it. Um, other artists, there are many artists who have made it. By the way, don't just be. But anyway, we are um, right. You're wrong. What eh? do you mean? I don't know the order which I met you, niggas. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I really do. Bye, you, mark your pretend. You damn me. <laughs> we mark your pretend. Remember yeah. when we, remember we're not even going to discuss it here because you're evidence. pretending. I have evidence. Remember the episode where we were talking about uh, the tribe of 10? Yeah. Damzi, you know that we've met each other so many times. Eh? Before, When did we meet? Can you answer it? First of all, I'm 100%. You know, he's, he's you dead. Know, he's the only one I know. You know, Mark only. Mark only. I met no, you guys before. After. Thing, Mark only. Then me. Mark only. That's what I know for sure. Mark, Mark as well. Mark only remembers so when I just come back from Brussels. <laughs> he's the first person to hand that way. I know all of you in that Mark, same year. I, yes, I found this guy who had a website. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> hop, uh, when I'm I just come back from Brussels. It is Ian, then Felix, then me. In a short period of time. But that's okay. what it is. You, you're sure? Mm. Me, I'm not. It could have been this guy first. Okay, me, I'm it uh, could, I no, don't really no, no, no. I don't think party. so. I don't think so. No, yeah? You know? Uh, at Pana. I know I met you at Pana. Mm. I just don't know when. You're there at Pana with your website. But you see, like, <laughs> this, no, 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 guys. Not really. Being in the same location with somebody. No, no, no. Mets. For me, it doesn't qualify no, no, no. as no. me. Yes, so that's, about what, mets. that's why I'm mm. being like like we with Like, we're introduced with We've been in the same places so many times, but, like, actual, actual mates. Yeah. Like, actual, when we say actual mates, like, that's when, like, when like, you, have, hi, you have my Mark. number, we are now or talking like, like, yeah. like, <laughs> like, no, like, like this. My name is Mark, your name is Felix. Because those things, my name is so and so. Sometimes I move on and I forget people. But you met them anyway. <laughs> anyway, me, I, we shall, we shall, shall that, finish that's this. The that's the lie. Yeah. Ah, we're going to ask them if, I feel like, if mm. you actually buy those tickets. I do. <laughs> the last one was in December. Hey, don't over explain yourself. And I bought that uh, one. Adam also. Z. Because <laughs> I don't know how to tell lies. <laughs> <laughs> well, we shall find out. Um, and Mark, you're not allowed to answer. <laughs> Uh, I was not born in Uganda. Ululu. <laughs> <laughs> I have four tattoos. Okay. I can play a long drum, like in Galabi. Uh, uh, that was you can't play in Galabi. <laughs> <laughs> you told us you were born in Tanzania. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know you have tattoos, but I don't know the number. Mm-hmm. So. So you don't know that. So answer. for the tattoos, Mark can clarify on the number. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not going to answer. <laughs> because uh, I know you guys have gone for uh, a session, <laughs> a tattoo session together. <laughs> TMI. Hey, TMI. Hey, <laughs> you see, this game is bad, you people. That's right? I, mean, I feel like we already know too much. <laughs> this about game time. is dangerous. <laughs> this is very dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> Please, let us move. <laughs> uh, but no, Damzi can't play in Galabi. Because if she could play in Galabi, mm-hmm. she could have volunteered to produce a song where she's playing drums. <laughs> but she over sings things. <laughs> so we are going to leave Unga. For me, I'm going to leave Unga. I'll be out. Okay. Uh huh. What's your answer, Ian? Ah, uh, um. Tough one. Huh? You might have tattoos. Mm. I don't think there are four. Okay. There might that be like two, eh? Cause, cause your your personality. It's easy for you to be able to play that kind of drum. <laughs> uh huh. Tattoos, uh-huh. four tattoos. You might have tattoos, but you don't think they are four. I don't think that you're you're too <coughs> organized. Yes, Woo! you're too. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so you're trying to say people with tattoos are not organized? No, I'm not saying they're not organized. It's talking about me, not other people. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, you might have tattoos. They're not four. Okay. Yeah. So yes, that's the lie. They're that's not four. Lie. I can <laughs> play the angalabi. Oh, nice. Yes, <laughs> like properly. Nice. Yeah. You know, um, people in school, in our schools, we used to be play the Angola. You know, the rowdy chaps. <laughs> yeah, okay, you, you, you say what you wanna, but I can't. <laughs> you say what you Actually, wanna. I can play a number of traditional instruments. instruments. Yeah. yeah. So one of the songs on the EP is going it's to gonna be have a percussion smallie, instrument. Small issues. <laughs> yeah. Tata Luca. Ah, I should have thought in advance, but <laughs> <laughs> you just spent all your time writing about papers. <laughs> <laughs> um. I grew up. I grew up near lakes, but I fear water. Uh huh. I can play drums, like actual drums with the 
Lusani and whatever. Uh-huh. The fact that you've called it a Lusani. Continue. I had um, had a brief I had it was not even a career. There's a time in my life where I tried to review cars. Uh-huh. And I've driven almost every car except a Range Rover. I think they said two truths, not two lies. <laughs> <laughs> you get. I feel like you've missed your plot. But uh-huh. <laughs> the fact that you called it a Lusania. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Anyone who has played proper drums will know what it's called. Me, even me, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but if you and me don't know, <laughs> me, I think that's the lie. That's the lie. Felix? Uh-huh. Uh, the car thing, definitely. But the ca- the ca- ah, the bro. Lie. Every time we pass the car, this guy can car tell us how he wants <laughs> like that car. He, say, he only reads about them and watches them. <laughs> <laughs> he has never driven them. No, the car thing is my lie as well. Because the first one, that. Yeah, and I mean, stop listening on that. What was that one? What was the first one? Sunny vibes. No, the Sunny was second. Of the water. The first one, the water. That I one, I like know. That's possible. I know, no, we know because in tongues. Uh, in no, tongues. Yes. We, yeah. we know. I feel like that's a common thing. The yeah. second yeah. one, being Sunny, afraid of water. I think I don't know what episode it was. It's so I've always been able to perfectly recreate the drink. And then also, there's a time I was trying to sell some like some musical equipment. So definitely. <laughs> <laughs> But if it's true and you call that thing a Lusania, mm. repent. So you think the lie is what? The, the, car, the car thing. Because thing. Thing. Yeah, I know that time, when times were tough, you tried to offload the musical equipment, <laughs> so it could have been a drum. So you think the lie is a car thing? Yeah. yeah. And you think the lie is? It's the Lusania. <laughs> you think the lie is? <laughs> the lie is a car thing. Hey. <laughs> okay. The <laughs> car. <laughs> But what, what's the reason here? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, you. There's a time. Um, you remember Tim Cozy where we used to have uh, hip hop night? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, the hip hop night in Cozy. There's a time. Um, naturally, like I've said, they can always recreate a sound. <laughs> yes. So, see? so um, there's a time we. There's a guy who used to drum. He was called Menlik. Mm. And for some reason, Menlik was late, and guys wanted to freestyle. So you got that. <laughs> and I looked at the drums. I'm like, hmm. Instead, oh, of rapping, <laughs> instead of rapping, let me just play and this And these people. <laughs> let me play let the me And <laughs> it was, it was easy. It was instinctual. I just... Like, so you've played it by that, I mean you can. No, I can. Like, I played it very, very well. I can. Every time I find them, I can play them, and I play them very, very well. I still think you told two lies and a truth, but anyway. <laughs> let's move on to Felix. <laughs> okay. Number one. Truth number one. <laughs> 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 Truth number one. Why are you? <laughs> you cannot tell us. Hey, I can't. Uh-huh. But, uh-huh. but I have to confuse the masses. Uh-huh. You know? Uh-huh. Uh, I've been part of a uh, uh, Catholic church choir. True. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it's giving. <laughs> Truth number one. It's giving choir. Go on. True. Uh. <laughs> it's game. Uh, Anyone I, that I, dresses like this on the weekend has been in a choir. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let me see. I should change my dress code, but go on. Uh, you this, guys. this man is always dressed like I'm, a headmaster. I'm, I'm, choir <laughs> behavior. I'm, not, I'm trying to find something that <laughs> you guys. Headmaster of a village school. I'm trying to find something that you guys don't know. Don't know <laughs> me. Don't know about me. Uh huh. Uh. You were once a headmaster. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, no. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> this game, eh? You just sell yourself. We go. Church choir. Let me see the other thing. <laughs> those, those guys. <laughs> the problem is you're letting Ian think. Boy. Yeah, let, let him first. <laughs> let him first. Let him first. Let him first. I say we. Ah. You people know you people know me very well, so <laughs> anything I say might uh, incriminate you even further. Yeah, <laughs> or piss off someone who is watching. <laughs> piss them off! <laughs> piss them off! <laughs> oh yeah, I, I've been to all East African countries. The five. True. Uh huh. Um, what's the other one that I can uh, for surrender the for the lie? Eh? Yes, those two are true. You look at your outfit. 
Um, East African school games. Eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a bike accident. Okay, so the li- the lie is no, that East African, East African countries. East African countries. Uh, I don't. Mm. Could be, cause choir. You, <laughs> you've been in a choir. It's, it's giving choir. Mm. It's giving choir. <laughs> it's giving choir. <laughs> <laughs> what if for dinner? Have you seen when, he's, when he's angry? When he's quarrelling? I told you to do this. <laughs> you <didn't> do it. <laughs> so the choir is true. <laughs> <laughs> the choir is true. The border accident is true. You've yeah. not been to all yeah. East African countries. I think I agree. I don't think you've been to all. I also don't think you've been to all. Okay, okay. I haven't been to all East African countries. <laughs> and the border accident yeah. was your fault. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. The border accident. I was a young kid, man. Uh, I was you a young kid. Directions like this. <laughs> I was a young kid. <laughs> now go straight. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think this game is supposed to be for strangers, man. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be for strangers. But how will we hear about the Usania? <laughs> the Usania, man. But I'll, ne- I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm judging you. Mm. You know, like those guys, like uh, you who has played Angola, you exactly. know, right? <laughs> uh, there's uh, the Angola, then the other big drums, mm. uh, and then there's one drum where you just do pa. Yes, so the, I think that's, that's, why, that's that's the really big one. Yeah, I think that's what that's the gig this guy they, had. That's, <laughs> that's like that's the gig yeah, I had. I played it perfectly. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> <laughs> Next day we'll give him a triangle. Uh, you, know, you, know, you know what we are going to do, eh? See when I used to play the triangle. <laughs> what we're going to do, eh? We have we have the film crew. We're going to look for drums. Uh, so and I play and we fine. Have like a clip. You no problem. Excuse me of no, having no talent like Felix. Man, wait. <laughs> let me tell you the the, the, the choir thing. Uh, so in school, high school, right? Mm. Each each class took turns to be <laughs> yeah, the choir, was. like yes. n- things like that. So our year, they gave us like I think three Sundays in a row, and then like on the third Sunday, they're like, nah, this choir is not serious. <laughs> Like, you know, in school, there is that one staff member who is in charge of the church, organizing everything. Like, at the end of the month, he was giving a speech. He was like, ah, no. This guy, is it? you're going on a hate us. No more <laughs> church vibes for you guys. They and say those who can't do teach. Yeah. And Felix decided and that's to start how talking about my co- and that's how my <laughs> choir <laughs> career ended, man. It ended that, just that like that. that. It was as long as Ian's rap career. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Though mine was was led by the Holy Spirit, but he's... <laughs> <laughs> Misguided <laughs> career choices. <laughs> wow. As you can see, the year changed, but nothing else did over here. Uh, clearly. Uh huh. Um, Damzi. Yes. Speaking of things not changing, <coughs> why don't you ask us some little bit of something? Something. Of course. Yeah, of you have. course. I do have Ex- them. I'm by. I've been doing research. So research. Mm-hmm. Yes, doing a research. So anywho. I mean, ask you some pointless, would you rather questions? And yeah, I think that's a better way for us to get to know each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question one. Would you rather mentally or physically never age? If you had to choose between aging physically and aging mentally, um, which one would you choose? Physically. You'd rather never physically age? Yeah. Why physically? Imagine being... God, there's no progress. You're, you think the same, you just like me. Like, there's so much satisfaction in growth, mental growth. Because uh-huh. you know how they say you have to learn and unlearn? Uh-huh. Imagine if for you, it's the same all the time. So you'd give up the physical growth? Yeah, like already people say I look 16, so. <laughs> you gave it up already? <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> like, it's already. Eh? <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, so. <laughs> but by saying that, I feel attacked. <laughs> you wait, you'd rather not age? Not age physically. You'd, yeah. Like I keep looking like this. You'd rather never that, age. I'm smarter and learning. No, no, no you'd learning. rather never age mentally. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah you know, physically. never age physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But so correct. if you don't age physically, that means but mentally, yeah, mentally. yeah, you lose your yeah. marbles. So yeah, but already he's upstairs. Doesn't <laughs> work. <laughs> So maybe I've lost both. <laughs> 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 same, same, same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you? 
No, uh, I think I'll go with a mentally one. Like I have to, I don't want to age mentally. Mm. Well, for you, like because you already, because you now look like you're 65. So <laughs> because now, um, of course, the physical beat. I mean, you've made those hot Chinese, but upstairs, <laughs> nothing, zero, zero. So the physical beat there, uh, it doesn't do anything for you, Why but you mentally, uh, Why are you hmm? Why are you no, I'm I'm speaking for my experience. I'm not ah. abusing people for my experience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, those losers you be DMing who don't reply. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, the bright yeah. ones don't reply. <laughs> age. So first wait. First, cli- first clarify for me. Would something. you rather mentally or physically never age? Okay. Yeah. Um So when you say I have ah. a question. First wait. So when you say never age Mentally, does that mean never lose memory? Yeah, you know yeah. 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 exactly. yeah. yes. So, like, so basically, and you stuff want to like keep that. your whatever these ends in the your head. Magazine, but you guys the physically, you one. have grown. Mm. That is the one. Yes, hmm? physically, you age, but mm. mentally, you remain sharp. Mm. Your game, you, were, you already have you a removal. You're removal. not sharp, so you can't relate. <laughs> 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 but yes, I agree. Yes. I'd rather. You know, mentally continue to grow, yeah. mm. but physically get older because, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> that guy tricked your people. Quite, the Zungu too much. <laughs> 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 I feel like they're as a man, not as a in the way you're doing it. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's the schools we went to. <laughs> okay. Shut up. <laughs> um, would you rather have the ability to stop time, and when you stop time, you you can still move <laughs> around freely, mm-hmm. right? Or have the ability to heal all wounds and diseases like within a hundred feet of you. So oh. yes, you can't be out there healing the world. But <laughs> would you rather not even make it a better place? Uh, no, no, not even for you and no. for me. Oh, sorry. So would you rather stop time <laughs> or have the ability to heal all wounds and diseases within a hundred feet of you? Stop time. <laughs> if I heal diseases, what will pharmacy guys? Wow. If I like, come on. Like, <laughs> if I stop time... What are you going to do with the time you've stopped? Rob people. Rob people. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> be late for work, but no one has seen you. <laughs> run away from work and... No one has seen no you. One has seen you. <laughs> but run to what? If you stop time, you're the only person who can move around. Yeah. Get enough sleep. Okay. I love my son, but take a break. <laughs> like Mama Luca. Hey! Luca's legal guardian. Is he saying things? <laughs> Stop time or heal? Yeah, stop time. Because if you think about it, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All of us on earth, we are trying to buy more time to be here with our people, right? Mm-hmm. So if you have the ability to stop time, that means you have, you've basically cracked the code. You've basically cracked this thing we are trying to do in life. You are, you've given yourself more time. Mark. I feel like those guys are saying all the nice explanations of why I don't You're going to say some dumb guys. shit. I think that the real reason they're saying is like, if I stop time now, I can go and get some beverage behind, then what? Well, must finish cooking, I don't eat. Think I think they're saying that. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like they're just not saying. Phone your answer. But okay. uh, when you stop, stop time. Yeah. All that to say, yeah. stop time. <laughs> imagine, imagine, um, when you stop time, life becomes a bit more manageable. It's within your control. I wouldn't want to stop time. You'd want to? Yeah. Yes, I'd like, well, that's not the reason. Like, I'll the the, the problem is when chaps find out that uh, you can self yeah, diseases just be around and you. then yeah. they start kidnapping you, you find yourself in weird countries. But they won't know. They won't <laughs> trying to know. stop diseases. I, technically, yeah, I don't think they would know, but I don't think I would want to stop time. I feel like there's so much to look forward to. There's so much good stuff happening and bad. But like, if you stop time, you're stopping both the good and the bad. Yeah. So for me, no, I wouldn't want to stop time. Question. Mm. And I'm going to sell myself and my dear viewers who respected me before I asked this question. No one please no one. keep no one. Okay, okay yeah. Mm. Uh, any 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 one of you ever watched Charmed? Yes, the witches thing. Yes. yes. Remember, one of them's power was to stop time, uh-huh. and she can move around and do whatever, whatever. So I feel like it just makes sense. If you watch the show and watch what show, oh my god, with Mark, it. it makes sense because it, of charm. It makes sense. I think let's stop there. <laughs> I think let's just stop there but with you your know, answer. Because even imagine if you can stop time. How oh, this man has insulted me today. I stopped time and slapped the <laughs> shit out of him. Remember that? You said, Wama. Okay. Um, maybe two more. 
Would you rather have a one minute conversation with your past self or your future self? Huh? Bruh. Hey, today I came with deep Bruh. shit. <laughs> future. I need to know what's going on. <laughs> because the way I've been throwing hands, I need to know what's going on. I want to know if you finally throw some bruh. back. <laughs> I'm not going through this side. I know it's happening. But now, gender girl, like, what, what are we on? Like, uh-huh. are we operating on vibes like this? <laughs> oh, at some point we catch a break, you know? <laughs> so we need to know what we're going in the future. Same, same. Future. Cause if you reach there and it's just disappointing. Hey, it's mixing you. <laughs> Your hands have grown, <laughs> bro. Because <laughs> you see, talking to my past self doesn't change my now. But if it I talk, can. if it I can. if I talk to my future self and say, "Gwe, shit is tight," so you can change your now. You'll see how to re-strategize. Mm-hmm. But your future self will be talking to his past self. So if your logic is that talking to your past self can change your future, then you you talking to that future guy, you can't change him also. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> with, with that in mind, still future self. Still like, future self. If though. it's terrible, you brace for impact. <laughs> <laughs> if it's going to, you're going to become <laughs> rich. You start disrespecting guys. Like. <laughs> Mark, this is why the universe has to keep you humble. Your, you your know, ideas are right? always <laughs> no, but like yes, definitely future as well. But me, it's with the idea of if uh, if. The gentleman over there can tell me some good things that we can that I need to make sure I do. We do them. If the gentleman there can tell me gwe that I go with Because yes, it's the game That's changer. What you can ask me, I'll tell you. Anyway. <laughs> um, so I think for me I would I would rather talk to my past self. Cause like I feel like where I am now, yeah, there are certain things I could have done better like i would have told her like don't go these ends you go these ends and right now i'd be bullying you guys but it, <laughs> would okay? benefit, it would benefit her not you i'm her she's oh. me yeah we're speaking you we're speaking, live. You we're live. speaking like there are two timelines <laughs> yeah? so if you give her advice uh, on her timeline okay i see what you mean yeah. mm. Mm. but okay. also uh, uh, there's one i was that you thinking can change, like going your future speak with your future self you can't isn't change you anything. speaking to the past you that, that, that is what I said. That's, yeah. what, I, that's exactly what I explained. There's some inceptionist <laughs> going on around eh? here. Anyway, I think for this you, one... We you are Iron Man, so you can't get this. <laughs> <laughs> I think for this, we need to go and think about it a little bit more. So, since, we, since I've left you guys on a headache, I don't, I'm not going to add another one. <laughs> to the future, yeah. the past. Yeah. 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 Just like that. I think this is how they wrote Tenet. Mm. <laughs> some guys were like, what if? What if? Before you knew it, cars were moving backwards. Ah. Everybody's confused. Guys, Um, thank you so much. Mm. Episode two, season four yep. is done. Um, mm. This time we won't just go away for like that unannounced. We shall try and have better manners <laughs> in, this, mm. in this season. <laughs> but yeah, it's been real. It's been good. Till uh, next week. But before you go, there's always that one thing you can do to make life better. That send some kind of money to six two four four zero four. That's six two four four zero four, and you can support the podcast so that. The Did team stays intact and keeps doing more work. Uh, it's available. Also, <laughs> guys, uh, subscribe wow. to the channel. Uh, that's the YouTube channel. And then also subscribe to... We have a WhatsApp channel. Just search the Tribe UG and uh, subscribe. People in there get things, merchandise, uh, Ian's old shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're trying to encourage, not discourage. <laughs> so, okay. so, yeah, in brief, subscribe, uh, come to Meets and Beats. Uh, basically, yeah. We are back full full. <laughs> All right, people. Deuces. <laughs>